in there, I'm about to build with the boys. Um, just a quick one, this. So, something has come to light regarding our Titanic build. Um, a rumour was circulating for a while now, it's been about four months since I first heard this, that there was going to be an extension to the Hasha build the Titanic. Uh, that rumour is now confirmed. So, I need to clear some things up because a lot of you seem to have got your bloomers in a bit of a twist. But we'll go into exactly what an extension is, not just for this one, but for all part models as well. So, nothing has changed with your Hachette build. Nothing, right? So the Titanic was always going to be complete in 140 issues, and it still is, right? So at issue 140, the Titanic is complete. There is no more, okay? An extension is not, then we go, actually, we're going to make it run longer. That's not what it is, okay? So it's literally an extension to the build, right? So the model that you signed up to build is still complete in 140 issues. Nothing changes there. The extension they're offering is an extra 50 parts, taking us up to issue 190. The 50 parts make an independent model away from the Titanic. So once Titanic's built, it's in the case, it's doing its, that's it. This builds something else. So there's 50 more parts available that will build a 174th, I think, scale engine. Now, the, the engine that we built is 1 200 scale. So this is three times bigger than that. So it's about, it's about so big. This is how big this thing is, about this big. Um, it's fully working, it lights up, uh, it's remote control. The point of this is if you've been enjoying the Titanic this much, it's a little extra. If you want to keep going, you want to build something else, Titanic, you can. It's an upsell is what it is. Um, a lot of companies do this, not with just power up models, but power up models do this as well with extensions. So it seems that every single time an extension comes out, people lose their minds. So we're going to go very briefly over what extension is and why it is. Well, it's exactly like I just said, it's an upsell. That's what it is. So if you've got 5,000 people that have all subscribed to the Titanic, um, and it's done particularly well, and they've made a lot of money from it, it stands to reason that when it's coming to an end, they go, mm, we'd like this mode to last a little bit longer. So they introduce an extension. So if you'd like to build a little bit more, you can. And that's what they've done. So they'll probably get about 50% take up. So if 5,000 people are sub to it, they might get 2,500 people decide they want to go on and build the extension. And so it makes sense. It's good business sense. You know, you just retain those customers for a little while longer. That's all it is. So 50 parts will take us a year. So they would that will take us up to around about this time next year uh, is what would happen. So if we, you were to do the extension, you'll be finished in October of next year, realistically. Uh, late September, early October of next year, that's when you'd be finished. Um, now, this is what the extension will look like right here. So that is what those 50 pieces will build. A very nice, very big Titanic engine, which you can have fully working. You can put it on your desk, you can put it on your shelf, whatever you want to put it. Um, you don't have to build it. There is no obligation at all to build that. If you're done at 140, you're like, I'm done now, I want to build something else. You can. It doesn't affect your build. And this has been true of, of pretty much every extension that's ever happened. So cast your mind back to the DeLorean. So the DeLorean was always going to be finished. I want to say about 120 issues. They then run an extension where you could convert it into the Back to the Future 3 DeLorean, where you could change the wheels, you could put the um, the box on the front, you could get the train tracks. You didn't have to buy that. You could just back out at that point and just have the DeLorean that you wanted. So it didn't affect your model, but if you wanted to keep going, you could. It was optional. My mate Iron Man over here, same thing. So he was 100 parts to, to build Iron Man, but they ran an extension of, I believe, 30 parts. We'd get battle-damaged parts. So he was dented and scratched up and scuffed. So if you wanted to keep going, you want a battle damage version of it, you could. If you didn't want to, I didn't want to. I just stopped. And that's it. It's that simple. Now, I would have said six months ago that this is assured that you're bound to get it. However, the only place, the only territory that that extension has been confirmed for so far is Italy. I would be very surprised if it wasn't available to the rest of the world. But as it stands right now, the only people that have actually been offered that or Italy. We have not been offered it in the UK yet. Until we get something from Hachette that says we are extended in the UK, don't assume they're going to do that. Okay, this might be exclusive to Italy. It might only appear in a couple of territories, but until we've heard something, 
it doesn't mean it's going to happen over here. If we're going to hear, we're going to hear in the next couple of weeks, when the last four Titanics turn up at the main build, we should get a flyer or something of that that says we are extending. And if you want to extend, you just keep going. If you don't want to, you can't see a subscription on that point. And it really is that simple. The reason why, I mean, up to six months ago, I would have said this is definitely going to happen. The Disney Dolls House had an extension. Had an extension that included summer and Christmas editions. Didn't affect the build. So the build's built. Um, but what it made was an ice cream truck and a Christmas wagon. So you could you get that and you could get different decor for the house. Now, before that, everyone that's ever done an extension always ended up in every territory. However, not every territory was offered the extension of the Dolls House. The UK wasn't. Um, so it was only available in Japan, Germany, and I believe France. That's it. It wasn't offered anywhere else, which is unusual, but that's what happened. Um, so, again, I can't guarantee you're going to be offered this in the UK. I can't. I don't know. Um, but Italy definitely have been offered it. So that, if you're hearing about extensions, that's what it is. Don't listen to anything that states uh, it, it's going to take you another 50 issues to make your Titanic. It isn't. Your Titanic is complete at 140 issues. I promise you. This is this is an extension. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. You're under no obligation to do it. You can just cancel. It's that's it. I've done the 140. Thank you very much. And off you go. And your Titanic's done. But that's all it is. I mean, personally, if it's available, I'm doing it. I'd, I'd quite like a nice big Titanic engine on a shelf over here or in my office at work. So I'm 100% going to do it if they do it. Um, but I don't know. We will know, though. In, in about two weeks' time, we're going to know for sure if it's been offered to the UK. Uh, I have heard um, a, a viewer from Australia said that they it was brought up to them by a news agent. This is running longer. So it would appear that it's going to be available to Australia, which would suggest it's going to be offered to the rest of us. But there's no guarantee of that. So that's just to, a kind of an explanation of how extensions work. It's all they are. It's literally an upsell. It's a company that's thought, you know, this has sold so well. Let's see if we can keep it going a little longer. And it's optional. You don't have to do it. It's completely up to you. If you don't want to, you just stop. It's that simple. Say, no, thank you. I'm done. I'm out of where I wanted to. It doesn't affect your build. Your Titanic will be complete issue 140. The extension does not affect it. It is a completely standalone model. You're never going to touch that Titanic again. It's done and built. This is a completely separate standalone model. It just happens to be part of the Hachette Build the Titanic collection. That's all it is. So I hope that's cleared that up and I hope that's made some sense. When we know for sure, when the next ones arrive, I'll tell you. This is, this is happening. So we've gone all the way or it's not been offered here. And if it hasn't been offered in the next four, it's not going to be offered. So let's just wait and see. But I hope that's made things a little clearer because it's it's everyone's jumping to conclusions about what this is at this point. I promise you it has nothing to do with your original Titanic build. That is done. Don't worry about that. This is merely an extension that makes the engine I just showed you. So uh, now you know. Um, that's all from me. I will be back this week. Now we're into that sort out and whatnot. I'll be back with eight Titanics. So I've got... Uh, up to 136. Um, they're done. I just we we didn't have the bandwidth to upload them. We're now sorted, so we're back to business as normal. So from tomorrow, you'll start seeing Titanic appear on the channel once again, and we get all those out of the way this week. Um, that's all from me in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice, take care, and I'll see you very very soon from more from Bill and the Boys. Take care, and I'll see you then.